Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com and today we're going to update our Apple TV 4 to the latest firmware 9.1 and we're going to update our remote app to 4.2.2 and even though in the description it says it doesn't work with the uh, new Apple TV, it actually does. And in the news today, uh, a couple of articles that I want to tell you about, iMore has a great uh, article on how to use your Apple Watch with the brand new Apple TV. Uh, you should check them out. I'll put them in the description. Also, Mac Rumors um, has an article about BuzzFeed News talking to Eddie Q about getting full Siri functionality with the iOS remote app. And that's going to be pretty cool. I'll put the link in the description. So this app that I'm going to show you today doesn't have that Siri functionality, but it's pretty cool with the new updates that they gave us. Okay, now that I have my iPhone 6 Plus on the screen running 9.0.2 jailbroken, uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if you don't have the latest firmware as well. And I have the remote app uh, here, and it's at 4.2.2. And then my tvOS uh, is at 9.1, 13U85. So I have it up here on the screen here. So we're going to open it up for the first time. We'll, we can close this, and we can just hit the app there. And it's going to ask you to set up home sharing or add a device. So you can add a device. And what happens is you can go into your iTunes. If you go into iTunes and you click on your devices, you can go and uh, put in this four-digit code and it will access your iTunes library, all your music and everything like that. The, uh, the other thing you want to set up is home sharing. Now, this is your Apple ID that you use to purchase uh, apps. So we're going to put in my Apple ID. Okay, so I've got my Apple ID and my password in. This is for your purchases on your app, app store. So we'll hit done and what's going to happen, it's going to verify and it's going to say it's ready to go. You hit OK here. So what's going to happen is now we have our library show up here because we signed in to our, our, our library and our iTunes and we also have the Apple TV. So you can click on this Apple TV and what's going to happen is the remote app is going to pop up. Now first things first, you can uh, check help and it'll tell you exactly how to use this app. So you have an options button here, which you don't have on the Siri remote, uh, but you can swipe down from the top for options. And then you got your menu button here. Now, if you click it once, it goes back a step, just like if you were to click menu here. But if you click and hold it, it will be your home button here. So uh, you also have play and pause. You can't control volume with CEC uh, using the app here. Uh, if you have CEC control, I have a video about that. If you want to check that out, I'll put the link in the description. So uh, you can use gestures to, you know, move up and down, side to side, and tap. The tap uh, is like pressing this uh, trackpad here. Then they have uh, video playback. During a video play, uh, you can hit the options button. You can hit hold for main menu and pause and play. So you can do pause and play, and that's not a problem. And um, you could flick down from the top to get the menu up on top to change your audio and subtitles and things like that. Then you have audio playback, so you could just, if you're listening to an iTunes library, you can hit that. And you can hit the, uh, you could drag along to go fast forward and, and rewind. Um, or you can, you know, just flick and it'll go to the next song. So that's how you pretty much use it. So now we have the, uh, the uh, Apple TV up on the screen here. So now I can scroll down, up and down, no problem. Uh, the funny thing is, it doesn't show up in the remote app. So I'm going to tap to get into it. And it doesn't show up as a pair of the device in the remote app. It doesn't make sense. So if I just tap this, I go back one step. But if I tap and hold it, I go to the home menu. So pretty much that's how you use it. Now, the other cool thing is, if you hit done and you're out of this, you can hit now playing, and you can see the song that you actually have playing uh, from the iTunes library from the computer. Uh, you can hit play and you can play. Uh, you can't lower the volume or anything like that. Uh, but that's cool. So we'll, we'll go back and I'm going to just hit pause on that right there. Actually, we'll hit play. We'll go to now playing and we'll hit play. And then we'll go back and let's see if it shuts off when we have our remote. So we'll hit control. And we could pause it, see? Uh, and then you can hit play again. It's the last thing that you had up there will show up 
uh, in Now Playing. So if you're playing Now Playing on your Apple TV, uh, Roger Waters, I have a, a great album there. That's a great concert. Uh, you have to check that out. Uh, so you can go to your iTunes library now and it can connect and you can see all your playlists and all of your songs and things like that. You can do by artist, album, things like that. So it has multiple features. So it's home sharing your music and stuff. And it's also a remote now uh, with the new app. So we'll open that up and we have that. So let's scroll through. Now there's some things that are not quite ready for prime time and it's games. Uh, some games, I, I think the developer has to uh, enable the remote app or if it's motion control or anything like that, it won't work. So let, let's go into Skyrail. It's my daughter and I's favorite uh, game on the Apple TV. It's a very simple game. It's just a, a click. Uh, that's how you play. So let's play it with the remote and you'll see you can click and you can click and you can click and you click to jump. So and that's that. So now let's try it on the Apple II. Let's try it on the remote app. See, it doesn't work. You can tap all you want and it doesn't work. So it doesn't work with games, most games. Uh, there's a lot of other games too you could do. Uh, let's go back here and we'll hit menu. See, you can't even get out from here. So let's hit menu and we're going to go out of the app. As a matter of fact, we'll go to the home. Uh, but you, once you're inside that game, I can't, the, the Apple TV, the uh, remote app for iOS doesn't even work. So I, I don't get that. So um, we'll, we'll just step back. We're going to go right to our home screen here. So, but other apps do work. So say we wanted to play some, uh, some movies. Uh, we can open up, uh, let's say, my MacBook. Which will come out of that, we'll go to my NAS, because I know that's running. So we're in my NAS, and say I wanted to uh, watch a show, I could tap that, and it'll go right in. And say we want to watch uh, one, of these, one of these. So now, you can swipe from from the top, but you can swipe across, you can swipe down, do all that stuff, and hit, hit that button to play the the video. You can't control the volume, um, or at least I can't because I'm recording it, but we're playing the movie now. If you swipe from the top like this, you'll get that info screen. And you can change your audio subtitles, things like that. And if you, if you tap, if you're playing the movie, I'm sorry about this, you, you play the movie, you can pause and you can go forward. And then you can fast forward just like this and rewind. So you can use this app, it's pretty cool. We'll tap there and we'll go back. Let's try another game because I'm a little upset that it doesn't work with games. I guess you have to use the Siri remote in order to, to work with games. So press and hold the menu button, it'll take us out. Now let's try a different game. Um, Obviously, it's because probably because of motion control and things like that. So we hit play, and you can't, it doesn't work. So let's hit play here. Play, 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 and you can now choose and play. So let's see, it doesn't work. Uh, we'll try tilting it like this, see if the gyroscope works. Come on. We're not getting it. Actually, we got the button here working, but it comes out. It just, it doesn't work with games. Uh, it'll work with audio and media and things like that, but you won't get it to work that way. So uh, we can go into settings here and you can keep it stay connected so that it starts up faster. Uh, you can change a couple of the things, uh, add another iTunes library if you have other computers. But pretty much that's the remote app. It's a very simple app. At least we got something out of Apple uh, to work uh, with our brand new Apple TV. But don't ditch the uh, Siri remote because uh, you're gonna need it if you wanna play games and things like that. 
Uh, otherwise, if you're sitting on the couch and you want to do it. Now, as far as sleep goes, uh, if you press and hold the, the home button, it will go into sleep mode. Uh, and then you tap here and it'll, it'll put your Apple TV and your TV by, via CES, CEC uh, to sleep. But you can't do that with the remote app either. So we'll, we'll come out of this, we'll go home. Now, usually it's the home button. So if we press and hold the home button for a long period of time, nothing's going to happen. When you see you press and hold the remote, it goes to sleep. So if you're on the couch and you want to shut the TV off, you can do it. Uh, you can't use the sleep feature uh, with the uh, iOS app. Uh, but there's other things too. You can also type in the keyboard and things like that when you need to. So, you, you know, you can go in and um, you, can, you can type with the keyboard when you need to. So if we went to an app, if we went up to, like, say, the App Store, and, or you went into search, you wanted to search something and you need to type, the keyboard pops up automatically and you can type away like crazy. And then you hit uh, go. And if it was a uh, username and password uh, that you have to use, uh, once you hit the, the go button, it goes down to the next line where you put the password in. And then, you know, it goes down to the next line after that. So the keyboard works great. And that's a great uh, feature that we needed because uh, we don't have keyboard with the Siri anymore. So uh, this is my video. I just wanted to give you a first look at it since it just came out uh, yesterday. And uh, uh, what do you think about it? Uh, do you think Apple needs to update it? Uh, are you going to use it yourself? Or are you going to ditch the remote? I don't, you can't. So anyway, this is my video. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.